Sean. Hi, I'm Daniel. Okay, again, sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm dreaming. <laughs> we are here for the open stove filming. Uh, we are dragged here on a Saturday morning to do this filming. And we'll make up, right? My name is Sean. Uh, Tuk Tuk is a food truck in Timber Plus. We serve Vietnamese and Thai inspired food. Uh, with a modern twist. I'm Chef Daniel Sia from the Discondo Chef. Uh, we do modern European uh, with the Asian twist. We'll be doing a uh, durian dessert. So there will be durian ice cream served with like um, some sticky rice, crystallized shallots and uh, basil flowers. Durian is seasonal now. We thought that we might want to do something with it. Sticky rice is, uh, I used to have it as a kid. My grandma used to get um, sweet and salty sticky rice from uh, Tiong Bahru. Uh, so we decided to add some uh, rice puff and uh, crystallized shallots to get it a little bit of texture. Uh, because the rice is soft and the ice cream is soft. So we wanted uh, a little play on the different textures. Uh, the shallots give a very interesting combination. We tried a few, a few times and we realized that um, these two actually can work together. Um, so we decided to add it into the, incorporate into the rice itself. Okay, so first 100 grams of water, 100 grams of sugar, and 50 grams of uh, light corn syrup. Whisk them together. And we're gonna make, uh, bring the mixture to a boil. So for the durian ice cream, we'll be using uh, 300 grams of durian puree and 200 grams of milk. We're gonna blend the milk and the durian puree. So now we'll be chilling down the uh, syrup so that we can add it into the puree and into the ice cream machine. Uh, blend the ingredients together. This is making sure that the uh, durian puree and the syrup is well emulsified. We'll place it into the ice cream machine and churn for 45 minutes. Uh, so for the sticky rice, we got the glutinous rice that's soaked overnight and then we steam it until it's, it's soft. Uh, so what we have is we have some of this sticky rice that's been steamed. Basically coconut milk and a little bit of sugar. We boil it up um, into a syrup and we mix it into the sticky rice and let it sit for about 15 minutes. So after mixing with the coconut syrup, we just wrap it up. Uh, keep it warm for about 15 minutes. Uh, when we are about to serve, we will add in the Rice Krispies and the caramelized shallots. Basically, for the caramelized shallots, we add a bit of uh, sugar, water, bring it to a boil, uh, and add in the, the fried shallots to give it a bit of the texture, the crunch, and the sweetness. So for garnishes, we actually have, uh, we made some crystallized basil, which we actually deep uh, some basil leaves in egg whites, roll them in a bit of sugar and leave them overnight to dry. Uh, what you end up with is this uh, crispy sugar candy basil leaves like, like so. And over here, we actually have the flowers, which come from the, uh, the basil. Uh, these basil flowers are actually dehydrated in the microwave at 30 second intervals. Uh, we do it about three times. And what you end up with is uh, this very uh, intense smelling basil garnish. So we just add a little bit of this uh, rice puff and uh, caramelized shallots. Okay, so here is our durian sticky rice dessert. Very good durian flavour, nice textures. I like it. Yeah, it's almost like a, a durian sticky rice, but this one with the ice cream. 
So it gives a different texture of hot and uh, warm and, and cold. And, and the flavors will tell together. The bevel creates a, an extra, a very nice dimension to the entire dessert. So this is our dessert. Durian sticky rice. If you like to try the dish, please come by Tuk Tuk Viet Thai Cuisine. See you at Open Stoves.